Hey guys, welcome to part two in my series on why Grand Blue Fantasy is the epitome of evil. Today I want to talk about the single biggest problem in the game, that being the enormous time commitment you actually need to put into this game to get anywhere. And when I say the time commitment you need to get anywhere, I'm not even talking about playing till the end of the game, because actually, it's impossible to beat this game. That's right, this game which is over five years old is impossible to beat because... For some reason, at this point, the main plot has still not been fully released. So you end up doing the main plot here and there, but mostly focusing your time on side quests, doing character background stories, and doing a lot of grinding to get better weapons, because at some point you're going to hit walls in this game where you really need to grind a lot and get better weapons in order to move forward. Now this is really insidious. It seems like if they let you beat the game, that meant you could quit. So they want to keep you in the game by making the game impossible to beat, and I guess they do that in part to support multiplayer functionality so that lots of people are playing the same battles at the same time, and also I guess if you are a pay-for-play player, then they get you to still keep putting in lots of money. I've never spent a cent on this game for, uh, you know, I'm not into that, but if you are, you know, it's just a huge money sink as well probably. So this game, extremely long, and most of it's spent just doing the same battles over and over again. And also, you know, this game has other flaws as well. If the game were not so long, I could probably overlook those other flaws. But because you're exposed to the same flaws over and over again, it really magnifies them. So the game being so long, it hurts the game in that way as well. So, also, like, the main problem with this, like, if I'm playing this game and really only this game for three and a half years, I'm not playing other games. And it probably... It, probably hurts the same companies, right? Because I'm not playing other games from that company, I'm not playing games from other companies. It's really, I think, bad for the industry as a whole, or at least that's my assumption, I have no idea. But, you know, I have a copy of Red Dead Redemption sitting on my shelf for like the past three years. I have not started playing it yet because I've been putting so much time into Grand Blue Fantasy. I want to do Muv Love Alternative. I want to do other games too. Like, I've been interested in playing, for example, Fate Grand Order. You know, I heard that one's a huge time sink as well, but I have no time for that because I'm putting so much time into Grand Blue Fantasy. So... Yeah, what they're doing here is really just evil, just trying to suck you into this game as long as possible and making it impossible for you to actually beat the game if that's what you actually choose to do. So if you haven't started this game, or even if you just got into it, before you really get sunk into it beyond the point of no return, don't start it. It's not worth your time. You can spend that same time doing stuff that's more fun or perhaps even more productive. Just get a life. Don't play this game. Seriously.